All circuit components offer resistance to the charge flow. Some components allow charges to flow through easily and lose only little of their energy, like wires. These type of components are said to have a low resistance. Components such as bulbs have a high resistance. This means that the flow of charge through these components is not that easy and might take up a lot of energy. This energy is transferred to the environment as heat. We can measure the resistance by using the current and the voltage of the component using the equation V equals IR or voltage equals current into resistance. Resistance is measured in ohms, currents in amps and voltage in volts. We can use resistance in many ways. A fixed resistor is included in circuits to control the size of current and voltage. The presence of the resistor makes sure that the current and voltage for a specific component is at the correct needed measurement. Using a bulb as an example, if the voltage or current is too high, the bulb may explode. Another use of resistance is the variable resistor. You can use a variable resistor to alter the resistance in a circuit. For example, to increase the volume of the radio, you use a variable resistor. So if the resistance is increased, the current will be smaller and so a bulb will burn dimmer or not burn at all. But if the resistance is decreased, the current would be larger, so the bulb would be brighter. 